Hi there everyone, it's me Lamer Gamer. hope you're all doing well. Now today I'm doing a review video on behalf of Dragon Bloggers, a community for gamers and tech enthusiasts alike. And the product we're going to be reviewing today is the Game Note by Havit. It is a headset and microphone setup that you can use for anything like a PlayStation, an Xbox, a PC, anything like that. It has a um, adapter so it can split into microphone and sound separately or it can be just straight through. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a review of how it operates when actually plugged into a PC. Yeah. Let's give it a go. So now we're down at the unboxing table. Let's have a look at the game note from Habit. So first of all, it's a very plain black box. On the back, it comes up with the prohabit.com website where you can purchase these. The version I have is the H2002D 3.5 millimeter gaming headphone. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So unboxing. We're instantly met with the headphone and microphone, all wrapped up, and we also have an instruction manual. Nothing else in the box, so let's see what's in the manual. The manual here tells you all about the headphone specification, it tells us how to plug in the headphones to your PC. One thing I have noticed is that as well as the Xbox One adapter you'll need, it also shows that it will work with cell phones. However, as you may or may not be able to see, this depicts a very old version of an iPhone. If you're buying this for one of the later versions of the iPhone, you'll need an adapter that will take the iPhone lightning port to 3.5 millimeter jack. Just be wary of that. And any sort of troubleshooting tips in there as well. Now, let's have a look and see what it actually looks like in the flesh. Okey So the microphone is wrapped up with the cable. I did notice there wasn't any sort of like hard packaging for it. I don't know if that is because this has been sent to me as a demo or um, or, it's, or this is how it normally comes packaged, but the microphone was wrapped up inside of the cables here. Um, it has a little Velcro strap on it to help keep the cables nice and tidy. And it looks like here we have a 3.5 millimeter jack to insert the microphone into the headphone slot here on the speaker. There you go, nice little click. It doesn't feel like it's gonna come out very easily, but it doesn't take too much of a pull to pull it out. So you're not likely to get it stuck, but I'd just be careful of anything potentially falling out if you're brushing your hair while you're playing or something like that. The cable we've got is a nice length. That should definitely go from my desk down to my PC and most other PCs. We also have a 3.5, two 3.5 mil jacks for um, a headphone and microphone to split out. But also this bit comes apart here, which can give you dual headphone and microphone input to your PC or whatever you're using. I understand that there is also an adapter you need to get for, I believe it's the Xbox, which doesn't come in the box. So if you are buying this for a particular console, just make sure and you check their website that the headphones you've got are, um, are suitable for the console you're playing on. It sounds simple, but I trust me, I know lots of people have fallen foul of this little issue. So the construction of the headphones feels like feels like we've got a metal headband which is nice extendable so you can adjust it just by pulling it which is cool. We've got left and right on the inside usually the microphone is on the left as it is here. I'll take my headphone I'll take my hat off. Yes you can see my hair now. And yeah, that that fits nice over the ears. I can I can sort of it sounds weird, but I can I already know that there's already some form of noise cancellation or noise suppression around my ears, just because I, I feel that weird underwatery sense that I can't hear exactly everything around the outside of me. I've worn headphones that have had better um, insulation from sound, but for the price you're looking at, I think it's about forty odd dollars. Um, you can't really go wrong really with this sort of level of sound suppression, but I'll be trying that out in a minute on the PC as well. But yeah, nice uh, squidgy, I think they're memory foam ear cups as well. I don't know the, if these are replaceable. Put my hat back on. So I don't have to brush my hair, that's why I wear the hat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think on the whole, this, this seems like a good solid product. There's only one real test for these, and that's to try them out on the PC. I'm gonna play some nice bassy music to try out the bass in this. I'm gonna to listen to various other types of music. I'm also gonna play some games where it means that I've got to really listen to the sort of audio. So I'm gonna probably play something like Dead by Daylight, so I'm gonna to have to listen for where the killer is. 
But yeah, let's plug these puppies in and see what they sound like. So the next audio you will hear from me is from the microphone built into the headset itself. Anything in terms of music or in-game audio is coming directly from the programs themselves, so you won't be able to hear what I hear, but I will try and give an accurate representation of what I can hear. There are points where the microphone does feedback because it is picking up the sound coming from my headphones. This is more to do with me not setting a noise gate up because I'm doing this as if I have plugged the microphone straight in and have tried to begin recording and streaming with it. Okay, so I've plugged the headphones in now. I actually cannot hear the quality of the microphone as I'm talking, so I will have to listen to this back, or I'll put a monitor on. It's quite a sensitive microphone then. Uh, let's see what it's like if I adjust the volume. So am I louder in my headphones? No, that's turned it down. And this is me at full blast in my headphones. Sounds, sounds quite clear. Um, not hearing much crackle from it. Let's pull up some Spotify. Actually, no, let's not pull up some Spotify because we don't want a DMCA. No, 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 no. So let's, uh, I'm gonna put on some Pretzel Rocks. By the way, guys, Pretzel Rocks, really good place to get some DMCA free music. Just a, just a little heads up there. So I'm gonna press play on Electro Swing now. Some bass. Just gonna push the volume a bit. I'm happy about that. Let's try it with something a bit more bass here. And as if by magic, the bass comes in. The bass sounds quite rich on it, to be fair. I'm gonna try and find something sort of with some nice big drops. So this is it coming straight through, no altered effects or anything. It is at 0.0, .0 dB, so it's not turned down. Um, so hopefully you will hear it. So this is what it sounds like coming through to me. Don't you just love it when drops take forever? Okay. This is just coming through the microphone as well. Bear in mind the microphone is that far from the headphones. And I'm pretty sure my wife can hear it in the room as well. There's a bit of noise still. If I put them on my head, I don't know if you can still hear it. So Killer Queen can say that there is noise spill out of this. So if you are playing it at really loud volumes, then uh, I would suggest turning it down a little bit more. But yeah, that is that. That is the um, that is the music test, and also the audio test. I can hear myself nice and clear. Hopefully that's coming through nice in the recording as well. I can hear myself back on my monitor now. I'm going to now test the mute function on this. So if I click it, is there going to be a massive clunk? Ooh, that didn't sound good. Hmm. Okay, so just touching the mute button here gives it a little crackly noise. That's a bit interesting. I'll probably have to speak to the manufacturer about that. Um, but yeah, so if I'm going to mute it now, I think we're probably going to get a crackle. So I'm going to count one, two, three, eight. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but when I flick it into mute, there's a mass, there's like a noise. Um, it's probably just where the contact's sort of muting the mic. But I know for a fact that it annoys me when people do that. So it might be a bit of a pain for um, other people. Let's just do that again. One, two, seven, eight. And then I'll just do it without talking. Okay. I am seeing it jump up and down when I flick it from mute to unmute. So it's probably something you guys can audibly hear as well. And I'll also hear it back in post recording as well. The microphone is now, I haven't changed any of the sensitivities on the mic. And I'm just going to get my wife to talk to me in this sort of, just, just talk away in the background. Don't try and shout over the top of me. 
and I'll just see how much it picks up of the background as well. So I'm just going to keep talking like this, and my wife's going to eventually start talking. One, two, three, four. Can you make that two pizzas, please, my dear? So yeah, it does pick up ambient noise. So I'm clicking in the background. You probably have to put some filters on in your streaming software if you're looking for that. Or if you're just purely for gaming, just be, just be wary that, that it may be picking up some of the background noise from other people as well. That being said, let's see what it all sounds like when we're playing a game. I'm going to play some Dead by Daylight, maybe with some friends, just to check out this microphone. So uh, here we go. Okay, so I've just started up a game of Dead by Daylight, so we're going to see exactly what the sort of sound quality is like when you're in-game. Trying to listen to the killer, trying to kill me. You won't be seeing any footage, you're literally going to be seeing me playing the game. Because this is an age-rated game, you won't be able to see any of the gameplay, but you'll be able to hear my reactions to the various sounds and bits and bobs that happen in the game. Here we go. So we're playing against the Wraith, but the Wraith does ring a bell when it goes invisible or appears new. So, that is perfect for this test. Okay, that was nice and loud. I can hear that. There he is. Oh my god, the bell's ringing. I'm being chased. Okay, so now I've played a bit of Dead by Daylight, and unfortunately, yes, I did die. We actually had a really good killer to play against for this sort of test, which was the Wraith, which is the one that rings the bell if you do play Dead by Daylight, which means that you know exactly where they are when they ring the bell. Unfortunately, it still killed me. So let's go through the pros and cons of the Havit 2002D headphone and microphone combo. First of all, I think for its price, the product is phenomenal. The, the memory foam ear cups fit nice over my ears. Um, the price alone, $40 is always worth taking a gamble on it. And this time it paid off with a very, very nice comfortable headset. This feels like it's going to be durable. It's also got a nice cushion headband up here. Um, the microphone as well, very powerful. It can pick my wife up sat in the corner. So if you are worried about sensitivity, then you'll have to put a few filters and noise gates on it just to make sure it doesn't pick up like the cat farting three doors down or something like that. It has a really accessible um, control so you can flick the, the mute button on and off. You have volume control as well. Also, it's not very common nowadays to find a headphone that comes with a splitter as well as just a 3.5 mil jack. So many times I bought headphones in the past and they come with this single 3.5 mil jack and you want to try and split it out into audio and microphone. So that comes in the box ready to roll, which is awesome because the amount of times I've fallen foul of this buying a new set of headphones only to notice that I have to buy another piece of kit just to make it work with what I'm using. And now moving on to the cons. The first one is completely down to my own personal choice, which is the fact that we have a microphone here. Now, if you're streaming and you like to be animated and moving your hands, I would just be, say be aware that there is a microphone here. And if you've moved from a desktop microphone to one that is now next to your face, and just be aware because the amount of times I've done this and knocked it and called the thud on stream or um, in Discord, then uh, yeah, that will happen. If you buy a headset microphone, a headset with a microphone attached to it, hopefully you're expecting to have a microphone here. So yeah, that is just a own, my own personal preference on that. Um, the second negative also is about the microphone, but it's more to do with this mute toggle switch. So if I was to touch it here, it causes like a little crackly noise. Hopefully you can hear that. Also, when you do flick it, it does this as well. So when you toggle it on and off mute, there is like a thud that goes down the mic. So if there is a way of improving that, then I would recommend that as well. I personally use a more expensive brand of headphone. And when I do toggle the mute on and off, it doesn't make that noise. So that can be annoying for some. Um, really, it is a small minor. It's something I picked up there. Another point to raise on this unit is that it isn't ready for the Xbox One. You will still need to buy the adapter for the controller so that you can interface it with your Xbox. Otherwise, you'll be buying a headset and you won't be able to use it properly. Another one is I was looking through the manual and it did show pictures of iPhones and iPads in there. Although I do know that the newest version of the iPhone does not have a 3.5mm jack in it. So you will still need to buy the lightning adapter to 3.5mm jack for that. However, this will work on the older versions of iPhones that do have the jack. When I opened the box, instead of being in some form of cardboard housing where everything was neatly packed together, it came in some form of bag. Uh, I would prefer it to be in something a bit more robust so it's not rattling around inside the box. Um, I think this might be because it was a product that was sent to us for review rather than one that sold on the shelves. So that would be good to know if you've had um, one delivered to you and if it did come in a bag or if it was packaged inside some form of cardboard or foam insert. But on the whole, this headset is fantastic value for money. I would recommend that any new streamer or gamer pick a set of these up for around about $40 off the website. 
If you have your own personal preference and you don't like over ear headphones and a microphone by the side, then these probably aren't the headphones for you. However, the 90% of people I know will enjoy them and have a great time using them. If you did like this review video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Dragon Blogger YouTube channel. You can also find me, Lame Gamer, streaming on Dragon Bloggers very regularly, and I also stream regularly on my own Twitch. So in the meantime, you take care, and I'll see you online. Cheers.